you barely got enough stuff for yourself and your own little family. Rich, it, rich means that you rich in natural resources, that you have not just enough for yourself, but you have enough for others. It's, it's, it's pressed down. It's pressed down. It's shaking together. It's running over. I will tell you again what it looks like. It's pressed down. It's shaking together and it's running over. It's saying no to $28,000 and not even sweating it. Knowing that in God's time, you're going to wake up and then 24 hours later, you're going to double it. Because you're that valuable to somebody that they... I want you to write that down. The people that are closest to you, write their names down. I know you ain't going to have a lot of time, but write their names down at least. And then I want you to ask yourself, who are the people that are outvaluing you? Who are the people that are outvalued? So what I love about CJ, is CJ like, yo, E, I ain't gonna bring you no drama. I'm gonna add value to your life. So CJ wrote a book called, what was the name of the book? My Superpowers. Watch this. And what age did he say it was for? Kids. What, what, what age did it look like it was for for you? Eight, what, 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 what was it? What, 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 look at it. What? So four year old, five year old, three year old, I mean, you know, like third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. So watch this. This is what happens when you hanging with people that add value. I came out with the next book. You ain't the boss of me. Same concept as CJ, but this is for middle school and high school kids. That we've taken into the school system right now. And when they finish the book, they take the disc assessment. We come in and train them on that. So I'm like, see, you ain't going to be the only one selling the book and giving the money. You ain't going to be the only one. I'm about to write a book and you about to get a percentage of this stuff that go through the schools. Are you know what I'm saying? This, this, what, this is what it looks like. Some of y'all, you go, thank you, see, where do I get my check from? You let see, write the book, sit in the back, sell the book. No, I just want you to know why you're not rich. You'll let see, sell the book, write the book, sit in the back, stop, sign the book, take the money to the bank. I am, you ain't, you will not outvalue me. We gonna die outvaluing each other. So since you wrote the first one for K through five, we gonna, I'm going six through 12. I got it, see? I got you. I got you. And watch this. If you look at the book, it's the exact same book. It's the same concept. I didn't switch it up. I saw it with CD and just say, okay, CD K through five. I'm not gonna wait for him to do six through 12. Are you hearing what I'm saying, Ma? I'm not gonna sit there and go, yo, see, that was a phenomenal book you wrote. When are you gonna do six through 12? You gonna wait for Trey to get in middle school and then write it, high school? No, he already, he started it. I want you to think about somebody in your life right now that's adding more value than you adding to them. And I want you to make a vow that when you get home, you're going to find a way to add value in their life. Moose, you texted me this morning, Moose. When you got in town, what did you say? You need anything? I said, no, I'm good. But I appreciate you asking. Are y'all not hearing what I'm saying? No, you not right now. I'm good. But I do appreciate the thought. Like, I don't mind paying for you to eat, but at least like you to fake it like you about to pay for the tip. <laughs> yep, I'm talking to somebody in the room. I'm about to bless your life. You ain't even faking it no more. You just like, he got that. <laughs> he got that. We good. He got the last 10 here. I know he got the 11. And I do. But fake it like you about to pay for the tip. <laughs> Just go like. See, I forgot my wallet, bruh. Because y'all know how I go there. Oh, see, if I have to see, bruh. I'm just not going to be like, see, pay for it. I'm going to at least do these on C. Like, ah, 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 ah. See, bruh. But you know, see, if I had it, you know, I got you. No, no, no. I don't want y'all to walk out of here going to some of these other conferences and they're giving you these formulas. It's fake. I'm giving you the real. You're not rich because you take more than you give. That's the formula. 
People are getting rid of you because you don't add enough value for them to keep you. Let's not try to make it deeper than what it is. Nobody get, nobody, I just saw a Dennis Rodman hook up. It blew my mind. Anybody else see the 30 for 30 Dennis Rodman? Unbelievable, blew my mind. This dude don't, this dude can't score no points. And he won five championships. And Michael Jordan recruited him and Scotty Pippen didn't want him. Scotty Pippen was like, do not bring that crazy dude here. Michael Jordan told Phil Jackson, can you manage him? He said, I can. Good. We need the 20 rebounds. Just imagine, if you will, Michael Jordan getting another 20 opportunities, Jamal. Imagine that. You got 20 rebounds and you got the 20 and just shot them back to MJ. And guess what happened when they did that? This dude didn't start playing basketball till he was 21, 22 years old. This dude couldn't score a basket from the, from 12 feet, 18 feet, if his life counted on it. But guess what he could do? He could rebound like nobody. He goes down as the, the most valuable rebounder ever to the game. And guess what he did for Michael Jordan? He helped Michael Jordan win three championships. He added value, couldn't make a point. But he could get rebounds. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do on the earth that you're so needed down here? What do you do that if you die, that like Martin Luther King, they still be selling your birth, celebrating your birthday? What do you do, Mother Teresa, that you dead and you still come on People magazine, top hundred people in the world? You've been dead for years. Why are there people who are living who ain't making the magazine? Let's go. To, hold on. I just want to stop. What, whatever you do for a living, how many years of content do you have to give? Give and it shall be. Let's not make it deep. Give. Okay. I'm, just help me out. We ain't going deep. Give. Not just giving until you press down. Shaking together. <laughs> Give your content to the world and you'll become number one in it. Give your content in the world and you'll make 50,000. Give your content in the world and they'll be calling you every single day. Give it away. And while you're giving it away, I'll be blessing you in the background. Let's go to the next one. All right, I'm sorry. I got to get out of here. All right. So here's the first one. C said it. Identify the gift. Talk to your inner circle. Right? I took the test, I was a 99I, but I was a 70D. So what happens sometimes is because I got 70D, C got 99D. And because I got 70D, sometimes I wanna try to come out of my I and go into my what? But I'm a 70D and C is a what? 99D. So I need to lead that lane to who? That's what some of you doing wrong. You can run, you can quarterback and you can run. What this test helped me to do was know which my, which was my lane and stay in my lane. Good. I love it. So talk to your inner circle. So see like, you need to do more of this. You need to do more of this. You need to do more of this. Watch this, y'all. When I wrote this book, y'all know how I wrote this book. I wrote this book on the plane. I had a little notepad, boom, and then I talked through it and I sent it to the person and then they took it and wrote everything down. You know why it used to take me so long to write books before? Because I used to think I was a high C, which I'm not. Structure, and I'm trying to write. I don't write well. When I write, it slows me down. When I speak in a recorder, it allows me to be, uh, the, 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 the syntax is on a whole another level. Matter of fact, I let some deep people get touch this, and then the next book I got, that's like the second part to this, the English teacher said, yo, I could tell somebody help you with this first one, because it ain't as sweet as the second one. That second one, it, you sound like you're talking to kids in the hood, E. I can see some English people got a hold of this one and switch some stuff up a little bit. It's still good, but I can tell it ain't authentically you. I let some C's get on this and I'll never do it again. Because that ain't their lane. I should have said, don't change the word, don't change the words, just put commas where they go. You feel me? No, no, I'm just being real. What educated people don't realize is you are the minority. That's what educated people don't realize. You're a minority. If you got a four-year degree, you represent less than 20% of the world. 
Not 80% of the world say ambulance. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. And I was, listen to me, y'all gotta hear me. I was letting 20% of the world, I was letting 20% of the world influence me on the 80% of the world that God called me to speak to. I'm letting 20% people influence me on my, on my community. You ain't even sweet at this. You ain't even sweet. You still say library. We don't say that. We say library. You the you the one messed up. <laughs> I'm just can, I, can we do math? I'm just doing the numbers. If you got a four year degree, you represent less than eighty percent of the world. Only twenty, less eighteen point eight percent of people in the world have a degree. 80-some percent of the world, they don't have a degree. My grandma said library, that's where I got it from. And she was a very intelligent lady. I said birthday, I thought it was with an F, I, you know what I'm saying? I saw the TH, but I still said it. But guess what? I would never let that person get up and speak because I know when they get up to speak, they wouldn't be able to move your soul. So why would I let them write when you got to read it? And my girlfriend who I went to college with is the English teacher and said to me, she works in Sexton. She said, Eric, I could tell the first one, you let them touch it. Don't ever let nobody touch it again. That second one, I felt you. The babies that I work with, they feeling the way you wrote that second one. You know them better than anybody know them. You were them. You are a high school dropout. Your daddy wasn't in your life. You are them. That person that's editing your stuff, he's not them. He does not know how to speak to them. He does not know how to write to them. That is not his group. Some of y'all in this room, you let somebody talk you out. Somebody that ain't even in your expertise. They're not even in your genre. You let them talk you out your genre. You let them tell you what you should do when they ain't even they studying in their strength. Okay, if I'm telling the truth, write it down and write their name down because I want you to get the victory. Write their name down and write the group down on a piece of paper. Like, yep, they told, they made me say library. You <laughs> write that down. <laughs> all, right, all right, let me walk through this one. Let's go. All right, observe what interests you and what moves you. My man right here, what's your name? This guy right here, I'm sorry. Yeah, right here, that guy. Journey? Journey? Journey again. I'm sorry, Journey again. Journey again. What movies or books or stuff moves you? Love it. Real testimony, which is why he in the room. Because that's what I give. No, hear what I'm trying to tell you. You're trying to do stuff that other people are doing. Find out what moves you and do that. Because if it moves you, I guarantee you it's going to move the people you're trying to attract. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of y'all doing stuff that don't move you. Honestly, how many of y'all got jobs that when you walk in on Monday morning, it does not move you? Let me see your hand. Just being real, you're not moved by it. Why are you doing it? Somebody told you you had to do it to get a check. But the reality is when you do what you are authentically created to do, you make more money and your influence is different when you are authentic to yourself. When you start switching the game up and adapting to be what other people want you to be, champions hey there welcome to my channel fresh personal growth motivation today i speak life moves when you got in time what did you say you need anything i said but i appreciate you asking are all not hearing not right now fake it like you are about to be talking to somebody in the room i am about to bless even faking it no that he got that we good he got the last i know he got 11 and i dad fake it like the tip just go like see i forgot my wallet bro no i go through on see going to be like 
cp going to at least like c bro but you know see if i had it you know i got you know i don't want all conference and formulas at spec i am giving real more than you give that she for people are getting right enough value for them to